On November 24, 2009, two days before Thanksgiving, John and his brother Josh, along with nine other friends and relatives, decided to explore the Nutty Putty Cave as a bonding activity to get closer to each other, in the spirit of the festivities. Little did they know that John, in exploring one of the narrowest canals of the cave, would get himself into a situation that he would not be able to escape, tightly jammed into the canal, upside down, and unable to breathe. There he would spend 28 hours before dying of suffocation on November 25th. Here we explore five facts about his death as, definitively, one of the most horrible ways to die. Number 5. All rescue attempts had failed before his death. But by a few hours before his death, all rescue attempts had already failed. A complicated system of ropes and pulleys was being put in place to extract him from the tight passage, but, at one point, after all, preparations were nearly ready, something terrible happened, one of the pulleys came out of its base, and the whole operation failed. Unfortunately, the cave's walls were made mostly of clay and couldn't hold the force of all the ropes being pulled. Number 4. He died of suffocation. Finally, after a long and maddening ordeal, John Edward Jones died around midnight of the next day, after spending nearly 28 hours trapped in that hole, his arms pressed against his chest and his head feeling like it was about to explode from all the blood. But the cause of his death was, in the end, suffocation, he had been too long without breathing correctly, and the body, unable to expel it and obtain oxygen, filled up with carbon dioxide. Number 3. They made a movie. In 2016, a movie was made about John's death, called The Last Descent The Last Descent. A dramatized account of the events, it features Chadwick Hobson in the role of John, Alexis Johnson in the part of his wife Emily, and Landon Hemmen in the role of Aaron. This troubled rescuer is with him until the end. Be sure to check it out if you are interested. Number 2. The cave was closed forever. After what happened with John Edward Jones, authorities decided to close the Nutty Putty Cave forever on November 27, 2009. This came out of a mutual accord between the Utah government, the owners of the cave, which sits on private land, and John's family since an integral element of the closure required their collaboration, to leave John inside and seal the cave. Number 1. His body is still there. And, indeed, John Edward Yone's body is still in there, in the same narrow passage where he died, in the Nutty Putty Cave, though a decision motivated by the dangerousness of the operation to retrieve a person that was already dead, it's sad to think that, after that, John never got out of that tight, asphyxiating hole where his promising life came to an end.